Before we get into the video, people, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins to be with a chance of winning them. Make sure you are subbed to this channel, have that bell notification button ticked, drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details are in that video description. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Apex Legends video and today I bring you a complete guide on all known weapons that have been leaked so far for to be coming in the future to Apex Legends. But before we go any further guys, if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Apex Legends videos, be sure to subscribe. Now a few days back I posted a video on all known legends we have found via data mine files and so forth. 10 new legends have been found in total and if you missed that video you'll find it linked within the video description. Today I want to do an all in one video of every weapon we have seen leaked so far or even data mined from game files. So let's get into it. Now the first weapon we have seen introduced into Apex Legends was a Havoc Energy Rifle. A weapon which in my opinion is a little underwhelming, especially considering other choices you have in game. Now I will state this weapon can be quite decent if the right attachments are on it, but the basic weapon you just grab off the floor. Man, most of the time you are dead before you've even spun up the charge on this thing. And when you have the likes of the wingman, the peacekeeper and so forth, it's better to grab any attachments prior to finding this weapon in my opinion. But the Havoc was a weapon at one stage, like others we will feature today, that was data mined and leaked much prior to actually coming into the game. So other than the Havoc, what else have we seen and know about? Well, the most obvious weapon we do indeed know will come very soon is the L-Star EMG Heavy Machine Gun. Now the L-Star is a weapon we saw data mined before the Havoc Rifle and to be honest many including myself thought this weapon would be the first weapon we saw prior to the Havoc to come to Apex Legends. The L-Star like the Havoc you will have already seen already but not realised. The Havoc could have been seen within a trailer in the hands of that Pathfinder way before its release into the game. The L-Star can be seen every time you log into Apex Legends within the title screen. Look at the weapon Bloodhound is holding, yes that is the L-Star. The Alstar, also much like the Havoc, are two weapons you can actually see stats to within an Apex Legends Armory website called res.gg which you will find linked within the video description. And people, we haven't even got to the data mine files yet and we are already pretty confident it's coming. The data mine files are for the Alstar you can see on screen now. Now this leak was prior to the Havoc being released but we see it states not only energy AR weapon skins but the two available that are in the game at the moment are stated here. The other two no doubt we will see within the store within the future sometime. A part of the same leak we see the L-Star and four skins coming with it. So there's no question people the weapon will come to the game sooner than later it seems. Something else I have forgot to mention is obviously the L-Star is a weapon we've already seen within the Titan 4 universe seen on screen now. So that's cool. So what other weapons have we seen leaks of? So another weapon we have seen a few leaks of and that is the car SMG. Now the car SMG is a weapon again like the L-Star, a weapon that's been a part of the Titanfall universe for a long time. So Titanfall fans will know this weapon well. And seeing on screen now we can see the data mine file and the code in there with it. So it's a weapon we know is within the game files for Apex Legends. But this unlike the Havoc and the L-Star we have limited information on. I think these files are maybe placeholder files when a big patch comes in the near future which will update such. But the car SMG was basically a very good weapon in Titanfall. A weapon although it was clearly an SMG it fired relatively slower than normal SMGs but did a little more damage meaning the weapon was easier to control over other SMGs. And in my opinion Apex Legends actually has room for an SMG like this and I think the car could fit the role perfectly. So we will see people. So what other weapons have we seen leaked? Well this next one is kind of strange, it's called the Proto Hold Beam. You can see it's data mine files on screen now. The Proto Hold Beam drain energy from robotic targets, redirect it towards enemies. Now this to me, but it doesn't make sense for what we have in Apex Legends at the moment. But in saying that people, we have seen many other game modes leaked and data mined, which this could be a part of. Games like 24v24 team deathmatch with possible titans and bots and a few other things. We've also seen vehicles pop up numerous times within the game files which have been data mined. So this could be a part of any of those modes. But information on this proto hold beam at the moment is like what I'm doing now. It's basically people mostly speculating. I mean it's a part of the game files, it's a part of the data mined files. Where and when this will make an appearance, we have no idea on at the moment. 
but if any more updates come on this weapon, it will be covered right here on my channel. So other weapons we have seen day to mind are not the variety of ones you shoot, but grenades. So we have three kinds of grenades found within the data mine files. Firstly, we see something called a smoke grenade. Now it's important to mention that these files are not those associated with legends. These are standalone weapons found much like the arc star and thermal grenades. So yeah, the smoke grenade. Now at the moment, the smoke grenade is exclusive to Bangalore. And I believe the smoke grenade we see here, if ever added into the game, won't be a patch on her ability. And it could make it seem a little irrelevant. So if a smoke grenade does come, I feel it won't be as excessive as hers, that is for sure. Next up we see something called a frag drone, automated drone that seeks nearby targets and explodes. Now we have seen something like this in Titanfall. In Titanfall these things are called ticks and the little bastards were nasty, basically like the description for these frag drones state, automated drone that seeks you and blows your ass up. So these could be pretty cool indeed. Okay, so the last one we see is called the Orbital Strike, fires lots of rockets from the sky. Now this one seems to be a lot like Gibraltar's defensive bombardment, but I can imagine this won't be anywhere near as effective. In my opinion, the defensive bombardment is used more so to hold players back, as it only really covers a small area and it's great in making a team back up and scramble from a certain position, giving you a little time. The Orbital Strike could be used uh, similar to this, I'd say without a doubt it won't be anywhere near on the same scale of Gibraltar's defensive bombardment but we will see people. But that is it guys, these are all the weapons we have seen leaked and data mined so far. If anything new pops up I will have you covered right here on my channel that is for sure. So we have the Alstar, the Card, a Proto Hold Beam and three grenades. Now when the battle pass does land which is believed to be the 12th of March, no doubt a major update will come to the game which will allow data miners to find even more information. So when that happens people, I will have it all covered right here on my channel. But on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Apex Legend videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.